Hey guys, it's Robert again from Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drive. So uh, we are out here at Bluff Creek. Uh, we got out here late last night and uh, set up our campsite uh, in behind us here. So uh, set up everything we need uh, for the event. Um, we got uh, some guys from the Mitsubishi Four Wheel Drive Club coming down uh, this weekend. And we're planning to go off and do a drive around, uh, which should be good fun. So I'll show you some of that in the uh, footage as well. And everybody else is uh, coming in, and we're all setting up, so I'll show you it around. So, uh, we've got uh, Tofty and uh, Buck over there, um, and uh, Philip. Philip's over here, say good day, Philip. Hello. Yep, and uh, I set up over here and in behind us here. And uh, we've got the club flag out ready for um, so the club members know where we are. And uh, everyone else is set up over the side over here, guys. So I uh, imagine we'll get uh, rather busy this weekend. And uh, yeah, so uh, we'll uh, show you what happens this weekend. All right, guys. Hey, guys, Robert again. Uh, so we're heading off to Balloomba Creek Falls. And we've got the members of the club here. And we're all heading out there, aren't we, guys? Yeah. Yep. So uh, should be a good walk. We've um, done this one on video before, so I won't show you it all. But we will show you some of the extra waterfalls we found last time um, when we were here a couple of weeks ago. So um, it's quite spectacular. All right, guys. Thanks. Yeah. Nice on a summer day. It'd be great, wouldn't it? Part one. And you gotta get to part two down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. So after lunch we uh, then headed into Imbal State Forest for a drive and uh, we had to wait around while another group was coming down this uh, very steep section of, uh, of the uh, forest there and uh, we were waiting for a fair while and we were concerned something was going on so we sent the drone up to go and have a look and we managed to find one of the guys coming down the hill down here and uh, a little bit later on we uh, found the other guy stuck on the other side of the hill also um, he was having a bit of an issue with his vehicle unfortunately 
and uh, so we just gave them a little bit of time just to sort that issue out and uh, they, they got down safely as well. But anyway, I was getting ready to land the drone and so I put it into auto land mode as I have in the past and well, what happened? It sent the drone up into the trees. Uh, <laughs> that was uh, first for me. And I thought the drone was going to come down on someone's head but it uh, didn't and uh, fortunately when it was sitting up there I spent the next couple of minutes trying to get the drone to move. It wouldn't move at all and uh, ended up uh, restarting my iPad and restarted the actual transmitter and uh, fortunately the drone came down nice and safely. And uh, so here we are, we're heading down uh, down the uh, steep section here. We are using first gear low range uh, just to let the car roll down. You might notice I've noticed a couple of vehicles, they slid a bit at the back so you just have to accelerate a little bit, don't brake, have to accelerate just to get that back so she didn't slide at all. And uh, we got down there nice and safely. And uh, yeah, then uh, all the other guys, they came down the hill as well. And uh, they all did it nice and safely.